Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This time around, we once again have access to five amazing assets free for this month only. So these are the Opera House Kit, the MAE Oak Forest, the Modern House, the Vaulted Multiplayer Vaulting System, and the Art of Shader Film and Special Effects. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, starting with the Opera House Kit. So the Opera House is a large kit bash set of assets designed in realistic style that allows you to create custom themed operas or concert halls. So the features of this are it is realistic quality, there's a number of modular meshes, there's realistic demonstration of level to showcase asset qualities, the material instances for further customization, and there is also stage props. So more specifically, there's 88 unique meshes, all of which have custom and automatically generated collision, and they do also include LODs. In total, there's 53 materials and material instances with 152 textures, the majority of those being 4K, but some are in 2K. So there isn't a lot to say about this on the Marketplace page, but you can really see in the video now what it is that you're getting. You're getting an absolutely amazing and high quality looking opera house for you to use in your games. You can use this for whatever you like. So this could even be good for an online event or for a virtual event that you're doing set in an opera or a game, whatever it is, this looks perfect. Next up it is the MAE Oak Forest. So this allows you to create realistic oak forest with the procedural foliage in under 15 minutes. And this also contains photogrammetry assets. So these are all high quality scanned meshes. So again, as I just mentioned, this package is made with photogrammetry and photometric foliage techniques. It's all optimized, so all meshes have a minimum of three LODs and billboards. So this is a high density forest that comes with good optimization. This also includes soft blending, so all 3D scanned meshes have soft blending material set up with the landscape and other 3D meshes. Some statistics they've given for this are when it was tested on an RTX 3080 at 2K resolution, in editor on ultra settings they got 90 to 100 FPS, and in a standalone game, on ultra settings they got 100 to 120 fps and tested on the rtx 3080 with a full hd resolution in editor ultra settings was 150 fps and standalone ultra settings was 150 to 180 fps so as you can see it's very very well optimized so this features a triple a quality forest with a procedural forest generation photogrammetry models and textures automatic slope blending blueprint wind system a 4x4 kilometer example map a showcase map LODs and billboards, pixel depth offset shadow function, and soft blending setup for landscape. The assets in this are oak trees, oak saplings, seedlings, and wood sticks, logs, grass, ferns, bushes, rocks, and many, many more. There's a lot of different assets on here, and obviously you can check the marketplace page for more details on that if you wanted. So in total, there are 50 unique meshes with seven materials, 101 material instances, and 39 material functions, and a total of 219 textures. 217 of those are 4K, one is 2K, and one is 512. So as you can see, this again looks absolutely fantastic. It is all photorealistic. So if this is the look you're going for, a photorealistic oak forest, this is absolutely perfect for you. Next up it is Modern House. So this is a high quality modern house with exterior and interior completely furnished with over a hundred objects. So this is a high quality modern two story house with an exterior and interior. The complete scene is included with 11 rooms with setup lighting, a living room with kitchen, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, children's room, mini office cabinet, hallway, garage, corridor and one small empty room on the first floor. This house has openable doors and is fully walkable, so it's perfect for any kind of projects, games, archives and more. So if you wanted this pack but didn't want to set it all up yourself, you have this scene included as well, so you can just use this one if you wanted. So in total there's 130 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision. There's 120 materials and material instances with 130 textures ranging from 512 to 4k. As with some of the other ones on here, there's not a lot to say about this. Again, it's more just visual. You see what you get. So you can see on screen now this amazing high quality photorealistic house, which you are getting and you can use. So again, they've said this is great for any kind of project. I think this would be absolutely amazing for films or archives due to the sheer quality of it. But again, obviously you can use this in a game as well if you wanted to go for a photorealistic style. 
Now we have Voltit multiplayer voting system. So this is a multiplayer ready voting with motion warping and full body IK and net prediction of the highest caliber. So Voltit is a multiplayer voting system that is fully replicated with client side prediction for lag free gameplay. It handles desync properly even with root motion and is highly optimized. Voltit has a plethora of features to customize the behavior and is also the best on the market for single player games as well. So this is obviously multiplayer ready, but you can use this in a single player game if you wanted to. So some technical details of this are it is based on gameplay ability system, it's multiplayer ready with prediction, it doesn't desync even at extreme latency, i.e. 800 ping plus, it also handles desync corrections properly, it has proper net serialization and it also has an anti-cheat. It's driven by root motion animations, there is motion warping, full body IK for correct hand placement, but it doesn't require any IK bones. So there is a lot to say about this, there's so many different features on here, we can obviously go through the full list on the marketplace page itself, but this looks absolutely amazing. So just another additional thing on here, or it's fully modular setup supports characters, AI and maybe pawns. So this is very easy to use for your own characters in multiplayer or in single player, and it's easy to adapt to other blueprints as well. So again, you can use this for an AI if you wanted to as well. Again, I think this looks absolutely amazing and this has 11 five star reviews. Finally, last but not least, we have the Art of Shader Film and Special Effects. So Film and Special Effects is a series of high quality film inspired post process materials that can be applied to your scene to give it a cinematic look and feel. So this is a powerful asset pack that offers a set of advanced post process blendable materials offering a range of high quality film inspired post processing effects that can be applied to your scene. With blueprint actors that make it easy to combine, blend and group materials based on common properties, you can quickly create the perfect look for your scene. So obviously by default you can add materials into your post process, but this allows you to easily add in multiple and blend between them perfectly and it just gives you an extra bit of customization on there. And obviously this includes many materials that are already set up for you to use, you can just put them straight in and use them. So this includes 50 parameterized post process blendable materials with each effect can be used as a post-process blender material, Niagara effect and mesh material. The Niagara facilitates object space localization where you can apply the effects on only a part of your environment, like certain actors or a given region in your scene. It features an AOS blueprint actor for easily combining and grouping multiple blendable materials based on common properties, AOS just meaning art of shaders. Localization allows you to apply the shaders only to certain objects or exclude certain objects from given effects via custom depth stencils. Screen space localization lets you split the screen based on user defined shape and size and apply multiple blendable materials simultaneously at different parts of the screen. You can separate out the main objects placed in the environment from the background via scene depth and apply a different shader combination simultaneously to your main environment and background scene. And finally, AOS runtime blueprints and widgets, including dynamic UMG based color wheel, allows you to tweak and modify the post process materials at runtime. In total, there are 50 unique materials and material instances with six blueprints. So this looks absolutely fantastic. I think this would be great for games as well, but especially if you are someone who likes to make cinematics or films in Unreal, this is gonna be absolutely perfect for you. But again, you can obviously do this in your game too. For example, if you wanted to maybe make a cutscene or you just wanted a cinematic looking game, this is perfect for you. But with that, that covers it for this month for March 2023 of the Unreal Engine monthly free content. I think my favorite one this time around is either the MAE Oak Forest or the Art of Shader film and special effects. And let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was for this month. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful with me just covering these different assets. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.